Joshua the window cleaner here and I'm gonna clean some windows today and I'm gonna be using the Mowerman 2.0 handle and the accelerator or I'm sorry the liquidator channel with the accelerator um, combo so I'm gonna use the click pad and everything on these windows here these windows are probably about maybe 20 uh, maybe 20 feet high so it'll be good poll work to see what all the different angles does. So this is my first day using it, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. This is not my review on this because I haven't used it long enough to, uh, to do a review, but I just wanna show you my first day using it, and if there's any problems I'm having, I'm actually gonna use the same rubber that comes with it and everything so I can give you my honest opinion about what it's like to use the, the Mormon Accelerator 2.0. So I hope y'all enjoy. We'll see y'all in just a second. Peace out. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get my bucket ready. I just got a silencer too, so I'm looking forward to getting to use that more often. Okay. And it's really, really wet out here. A lot of moisture. Um, so I'll be careful when dusting that off because it's just gonna make a muddy mess sometimes. But. I'm just doing these windows today for video purposes. I do these windows every two weeks and I already let my customer know like, hey, I'm not gonna go too crazy on it. It's supposed to rain for the next week and I'll be back in two weeks, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean them anyways. Just for video purposes so I can show you all my experience on the Mormon. I think these are gonna be good windows to try them out on. And I wasn't a real big fan of the Accelerator 1.0 If you watch my other videos, you would know that and I really like Mormon products because they're, they're they look really cool But in my opinion a lot of times I feel like they're cheaper made so um, For that very reason I don't typically just buy all their equipment just to see what it's like I heard a lot of good things about this uh, This specific handle and I see a lot of people using it so I wanted to try it out myself because I kept getting people saying that I should try it out. So I'm going to try it out today and I'm going to start with exactly the way it comes in the box. That way you can see the whole experience. So as you can see, it's got the soft rubber by Mowerman. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm going to try it anyways today. Okay, let's see what else I got. Use that. All right, so I'll see you in just a second. Peace out. So that was at the 40 degree. I really didn't like it that much. Still leaving some stuff behind, so I'm gonna flip it up to 25 degrees. You'll see it on 25 degrees in just a second. I gotta answer my phone. All right, so now we're in the 25 degree. I'm gonna see how well it works. The 40 degree was just too much of an angle. It's starting to catch a little bit. Uh, so now I'm on the 25 degree and we're going to see how well it works. So.
All right, so that worked a little bit, a little bit better, but it's still leaving a little bit of streaks. Could be my technique, I'm still learning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to the 10 degree. And I don't think that this is gonna work out very well, but I'm gonna try the 10 degree this time and see how it works. Actually think that the 10 degree did the best it could be because I'm getting a little bit better with it but I really haven't practiced the fanning method very much because I haven't had a handle that swivels very well so um, 10 degree actually worked pretty good I was actually pretty happy with 10 degree now we're gonna go up to the next one I don't know how this one's gonna work so this is the 5 degree so we're at 5 degrees now negative five actually yeah we're at negative five so we're gonna try this one i doubt this works very well i think it's getting to be where it's too straight deep in the water That one didn't do too good and it could have been me but it felt like it was really sticky so i think doing any more is going to be a little redundant so we're going to do looks like the 10 degree did the best so now i'm just going to clean this window like normal uh, not for video purposes so it'd be a lot faster and a lot different than the way you just seen me do it so we'll see y'all in just a second i'm gonna go ahead and just clean this window
All right, so I've done all the top ones. And I really like this actually. It's actually doing a lot better than the 1.0 in my opinion. It swivels really nice. And uh, like I said, I haven't practiced the, the fanning technique and it actually works pretty good. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, so far so good on the rubber. Normally it doesn't last that long. Um, I tried it at my house for the first time and uh, three swipes and it was starting to leave little streaks. It was doing better now, so maybe it just need to be warmed up a little bit, but I doubt it's gonna last very long because it is a softer rub rubber, in my opinion. I think the hard rubbers are a lot better. Uh, Mowerman's actually sending me some other rubber that I'm gonna try some on the 14 inch. So I look forward to, to trying that out. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of the lower ones and see how it works in my hand. So hope y'all enjoy. See y'all in just a second. All right, so now we're gonna use the smaller Mormon pole and I'm gonna do these windows here. As you can see, they're just a little bit above the arm's reach. So I should be able to use this pretty easily. So we're gonna see how well it works by hand. I'm gonna try to do this whole thing. And right now I'm on the 10 degrees. Let's see how well it works. 10 degree angle and so far I really like it it's actually working pretty well but over time I don't know but on my first day I like it a lot better than the 1.0 Still not a big fan of the rubber, but it's just kind of sticky a little bit. You don't feel that with the Ed-Array. Okay, still works pretty good though. Like I can't really complain much. At the 10 degree leg, now this is one thing I don't like. So this button here, that's what I was talking about. Mowerman has different angles or different ends. I'm not really sure why, but this one, it's like, this is a Mormon tool with the Mormon pole. And then this connector is like really wonky. I don't even know if wonky is a word, but I'm gonna use it because this is what I feel like this is. Uh, so it's just real loose and I don't like that about it. Now the other pole, the tip on it worked a lot better. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'm sure I could just swap out the tip, but why? Why does it not fit very well? When this one, it fits pretty good, but still not as good. I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, see it fits here and then you can push the button and that's way easier. But with this, I guess I had it on the wrong side. But even then, you see it doesn't line up. I'm pushing pretty hard. And then how do you get the button off, you know? So I don't like that about it on the tip and that's the carbonator. Another reason why I don't really like the carbonator, it's a cool tool, but. All right. It's just real sticky if it's not solid wet. And I don't like that about it. Yeah, I don't like that about it. Now I gotta wash it again. Yeah, if it's not real wet, so you kinda gotta be quick with it. I'm gonna have to wash that one again. I see drips at the top up there. I didn't detail it. I'm just doing this for video purposes, so I don't want y'all to think I'm out here just clean. This is how I clean windows. It takes forever. No. I'm doing this for video purposes only. Now, if it's fully wet, it works pretty good. But if it's not fully wet, then you have issues. With it catching, and when it catches, it always leaves a mark, which is why I don't really like 
the Mowerman uh, squeegee rubber. All right, oh, I missed it, I come back. All right. It's just really wonky, you can see. This is my first day using this. And pretty much my first day using the fanning method with any kind of Mormon products. So you notice that the, as long as the squeegee's wet, it does okay, but it still leaves a little bit of streaks. And I don't like the flick. It gets in my way sometimes. And I could probably do this by hand, but I'm doing it with a pole because a lot of people like to use a pole for commercial. So, all right, still, you can see little places where it catches. It's not completely wet. Like I said, Ettore doesn't really do that in my opinion. I mean, it's gotta be wet, of course, but I'm gonna try it one more time. Yeah, I don't like how it's real flimsy though. Yeah, that definitely sucks about it. Just on the pole part. I feel like they could have done way better with the connection part. I feel like the Unger one even works better than this, but you can't swap it out. Yeah, but normally I'd have been done with these windows a long time ago because I won't waste my time on tools like this, but I have some free time today and I was coming by the chiropractor and they said I didn't have to clean the windows because it's gonna rain. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for video purposes. Still gotta come back up and then that flick gets you. Just not getting it all the way. It's still not perfect. Like I said, normally I would have been done. But I'm getting used to it something new, so you know. That's part of it when you got a new tool. You gotta play with it if you got time. If you don't have time, use what works. See, I don't like how the flick doesn't stay down. It needs to have like a, it'd be cool to have like a little magnet thing where like a magnet right here and right here where it would stay right there so it don't flip up that would be cool and then with enough pressure it would release obviously and again i'm just not a big fan of the soft rubber because if it don't stay wet it sticks to the glass and you got to kind of have it going down so that the flick pad doesn't mess you up Still not perfect, but it'll work. All right. It's just really, look how wobbly that is. I mean, that's ridiculous. Mormon, you gotta do something about that, man. That's ridiculous. This is y'all's products. This is y'all's tool, man. But I like the squeegee. I like the channel. And I really like the handle. All right, so this is gonna be the last one I do. I'm gonna have to come back and do this one again because it's got bird poop on it. I'm gonna use another tool that I just got, so I'll make a review about it too. All right. So pretty much I'm at this job to make videos for y'all to help. 